Hello. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I will show you some risk factors that are involved in developing ankylosing spondylitis disease, also known as spinal arthritis. So let's start it. Basically, ankylosing spondylitis has no specific cause. But there are some risk factors which increase the risk of developing ankylosing spondylitis in people. People who have HLA-B27 gene are at high risk of developing ankylosing spondylitis, as, disease. But there are many people who have HLA-B27 gene with no signs of ankylosing spondylitis disease. In this video, I will show you three major risk factors which contributes a key role in developing ankylosing spondylitis. So, the number one is, your gender. Men are more likely to develop ankylosing spondylitis than women. Number two is, your age. Ankylosing spondylitis may occur in late adolescence or early adulthood. Third and the most important risk factor is, your heredity. Most people who have ankylosing spondylitis have the HLA-B27 gene. But many people who have this gene never develop ankylosing spondylitis. At last. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel. Like and share this video. Thanks.